Hi Barbie and hi Ken and hi to everyone in between. I absolutely loved the live action Barbie movie. Today every sim is a different animated Barbie movie. One of my subscribers Pearl recommended this fun idea. Thank you so much Pearl, you're always suggesting such cool things to do. Here are our sims for today. You may recognize all of them from short. They look very cute. We've got four Barbies and four Kens. I'm going to be making both a Barbie and a Ken for every movie that we land on. Lastly, just another note, I'm not going to exactly recreate the outfits from the movies. I'm just going to try to make these Sims look like they could be in those movies. These are not all the Barbie movies, but there's just so many. And a lot of them are quite similar, so I kind of just bunched up the ones that were the most different from each other into this wheel. All right, let's spin the wheel and see what we're gonna get for our first one. <laughs> Okay, ponytail. The movie is actually called Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail. Let's take a look at the trailer for this movie just so that we can get an idea of what they're wearing. So here's a good shot of all four of the sisters and what they're wearing. Just for reference, this movie is about Barbie and her sisters going to an equestrian school. And it honestly wasn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a cowgirl or cowboy style of clothing. This is more like equestrian getup. It looks like it's actually for professional horseback riding. So we've got a lot of tacky patterns and bold colors going on. Also, some glitter. Everyone I've seen has some sort of blazer on for horseback riding. And of course the helmets that are meant for this. Again, lots of bows. Bows are everywhere. Also, a lot of them have their hair up in ponytails. I'm assuming it's more comfortable for horseback riding. I'm gonna be using this Barbie and this Ken for this movie. I'm gonna put her hair up in a ponytail. If this Barbie is riding horses competitively, I feel like it would just be more comfortable that way. This is cute. We've got this top, which is Barbie colors. There's also this, and I can edit the blazer itself, as well as the top underneath. I'm gonna go with this for now, since the colors are just more vibrant. I know they're specific type of boots. They're like longer than just regular cowgirl boots. Maybe we could use these. I was very excited to put this hat on but why does it make her bald there's no way i'm making this barbie wear that hat but i can give her a bow of some sort i'm trying to look for a bow that kind of matches the boots and it looks like this is our best bet if you don't look too closely it works okay do they still wear earrings while they're horseback riding it's barbie she probably does i'm gonna give her these tinier studs and let me do her makeup Okay, makeup is finished. Gonna paint her nails this color. And that's it for a ponytail Barbie. Let's do Ken now. I just found this and it does look similar to what the boys are wearing in this movie. I noticed they actually dress quite fancy for this with ties and everything. I'm gonna go for pants like these. Actually, these pants don't work. That's better. Maybe we can change his hair to another updo. Oh my gosh, this actually looks really good. That's it for Ken's look. And that's it for the Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail inspired Sims. I removed ponytail from the wheel. Let's see what we land on this time. Uh, Princess Charm School. Okay. This is what the cover of the movie looks like. So a lot of the Barbies in this movie are wearing school uniforms or schoolgirl clothing of some sort. Everyone has knee-high socks. Again, a lot of tacky patterns and pops of color, like mixing colors you normally wouldn't mix together. A lot of the Barbies have a side part and side bang. Look, side bang, side bang. We've got the crowns as well with 
the big fat heart in the middle. I also know that the Barbies wear big gowns in this movie as well, but I do want to go off of the schoolgirl outfits mainly because that's what makes this movie different from other Barbie movies. All right, I'm gonna be using this Barbie and this Ken for this Barbie movie. Can I just say these schoolgirl looks are so cute? We've got a little vest with ties and a lot of patterns in this one. I'm actually digging this top a lot. Now let's look for bottoms. They're wearing skirts. I'm gonna go with this pleated skirt and I actually changed the color of the top. Okay, I'm back. I had to go download some tiaras. This is just the one I think of when I think of Barbie. I'm pretty sure I had something like that. It's got a ginormous heart jewel in the middle and I think this one goes pretty well with the outfit. I'm also gonna change her hair again to this one. A lot of the Barbies in this movie have a side part and some sort of side bangs, so I think this looks pretty good. Maybe we can give her these ginormous earrings. We'll give her these socks and I was actually thinking about these shoes. I do like that better since you can see it more. Let's do her nails in a similar color to the one she's wearing. She looks so cute. I want to give her a bag because this is a school. However, no one seems to wear a backpack. They just hold little purses. Okay, something I haven't done yet is add very odd pops of color. Barbie does this a lot. I don't really mind it, so I'm gonna do it now. I'll do it with this purple. How about that? And now let me work on her makeup. And that is it for the Barbie Charm School Barbie. So here's what Ken dresses like in this movie. I already know this is gonna be quite a challenge. I know this is far-fetched, but I'm gonna give him this top. I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of the vest that he has on. Gonna go with these white pants. And for shoes, I haven't found a picture to see what he's wearing, but if Barbie's wearing something fancy, he probably should be too. Let's finish it off with some socks. And I'm thinking of changing his hair to something a little fancier or this. And that's it for Ken. I removed Princess Charm School from the wheel. Let's see what we land on this time. <gasps> Swan Lake. This is what the Barbie Swan Lake movie cover looks like. I would keep in mind that this movie is based off of the Swan Lake fairy tale. A lot of the fashion in this movie is more so based off of a fairy tale, just like the whole story is. And this is about ballet, so a lot of the dresses are very full like this. Again, we can see that everyone is wearing the same silhouette. It poofs out at the bottom. It's kind of like a fit and flare, I guess. Something else I wanted to mention is that there is a ton of poofy sleeve action going on. Like, look at her sleeve, look at her sleeve. I'm gonna be using this Barbie and this Ken for the Swan Lake movie. After careful consideration, I like this dress a lot. You can't really tell what this is, if it's like a feather design or if it's flower design. By the way, I changed her hair. I'm gonna give her these super cute ballet shoes. I actually like this color better. Gonna give her this necklace here in this color and some matching earrings. And I'm gonna do her makeup. Makeup is finished. I think all she needs now is a humongous tiara on her head. I quite like this. That's it for the Swan Lake Barbie. All right, so Ken from Swan Lake is dressed up as Prince Daniel. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. I have to make this Ken look like a prince. This is the princiest outfit I have. We're gonna have to go with this because I don't have anything else. I'm a bit disappointed, but I am trying my best to make him look like a prince. While he looks really good in my opinion, and he looks like he could be in a Barbie movie, it just doesn't look like he would be in this Barbie movie. I mean, it could be worse. That is it for the Swan Lake inspired Ken. Okay, I've removed Swan Lake from the wheel. Let's spin again. Maybe we can end this on a better note. Mermaidia. 
this is the movie. It's actually called Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia. So here's a good clip from the Mermaidia movie. We've got a good view of what these Barbies are wearing. Obviously, they're mermaids, so they've got tails. Now, when it comes to the tops, they're wearing like very fancy tank tops with little flower designs here and there. We've got some arm bracelets. Oh, I've even spotted tattoos. I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be, but they do have some writing on the skin. They are wearing makeup underwater. Here's the only Ken I could find. He's like very basic. He's got, you know, a tail just like everyone else's, but his tail has no swirls on it or anything. It doesn't have the little dots at the very end. And he's got some seaweed across his body. And that's basically it with this Ken. Okay, I'm back. I need each of these Sims mermaids. I'm gonna start off with the tail. I do want a pink tail for this Barbie. Ooh, or this. This is pink still. It just has more colors. So, so instead of wearing like coconuts or just the usual mermaid getup, these mermaids are wearing some very fancy tops. I could just go with something like this. This could work. I know it's not similar to the tops they're wearing, but I don't have anything that's similar to that. They are wearing jewelry and all under the water, so I will be giving her jewelry and makeup. Wait, this one's cool. It kind of looks like she's floating in the water. I'll also change her hair to this wavy style. Makeup is finished. She looks so beautiful. And that's it for the sim. She looks like she could be a mermaidia. Now let's work on the mermaidia Ken. Okay, so he's got a green tail and just seaweed across his chest. Simple enough. I'm gonna go with this one right here. And then like I said, he's got seaweed across his chest. Unfortunately, we don't really have that. I thought we did. I guess we could use this from Island Living. I really do feel like I'm making just a basic mermaid right now. But honestly, it's not my fault they made Ken a basic mermaid. Let me change the hair. I like this hair. I feel like it would fly flop around in the water. And that's pretty much it for the Ken inspired by Mermaidia. And that's also it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again, Pearl, for this amazing idea. My favorite duo was the Princess Charm School duo. Let me know which one was yours. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you later.